Welcome to another episode of Doing It Cheap. Boy, howdy, today we're going to have us some fun. One of the things I don't talk much about is I do a lot of cooking. And here's one of my favorite recipes right here. Be right back. Well, I wanted to make sure I get a couple of these recipes out there to you today for your holiday imbibement. Uh, because holidays are coming up, need to get this stuff made up. And today's episode is on my version of making Bailey's Irish cream. There's a lot of there's a lot of recipes out there <clears throat> that uh, use more uh, ingredients than I use. But uh, this is my darn good. <laughs> anyway, stick around. I'm gonna be right back. I'm gonna show you what all we're gonna use, or what little we're gonna use. Now, a lot of my my ingredients were the food I cook with. Uh, the items I use are all generic, or at least the or at least the least expensive I can buy, because you know me, I like doing it cheap. And I find that in cooking. The brand name doesn't make much difference. But if I'm consuming something directly, what I mean is I buy it and eat or drink it exactly the way it's purchased, then sometimes the brand name does make a difference. The one thing that I'm gonna show you that I do pay top dollar for is my coffee. Now I like Nescafe Classico. It's an instant coffee. I used to never ever drink instant coffee but I went and visited some friends in Mexico and I got turned on to this and man it is just like a fresh brewed cup of coffee and the nice thing about it is you can make it as strong or as or as weak as you care to okay well let's get back anyway let's get into what we're doing here we want to make something that tastes something like this right here. Bailey's Irish Cream Liqueur. And I do love this stuff. And maybe that's one of the reasons I'm so darn fat. Uh, because it is fattening. But uh, even me buying it at the commissary at the Air Force Base, I'm retired military. Even me buying it at the Air Force Base, this was still $27.70 for a bottle. So it's more than that probably in your store or less in a, in a state that doesn't have so much sin tax like Tennessee does. Uh, anyway, I love this stuff, but I can't afford to pay $27.70 a bottle for it. And I could go through a bottle of this in a night. Oh God, it's so good. So now I'm going to show you my version of one of America's favorite liqueurs. Now you're going to need some whiskey. This uh, 1.75 liters was only $12 and change out at the base. And any whiskey will work. Any whiskey will work. You don't have to buy Irish whiskey. Even though they call it Irish cream, we're just going to call this Pawpaw's cream. Oh, that, oh, that sounds nasty. We're just, we're just going to call it... Uh, doing it cheap Irish cream without the Irish so whiskey now if you have vanilla extract it gives you a lot better flavor than imitation vanilla flavoring but this works and after you've had one or two drinks it don't make no difference no way and sweetened condensed milk everybody uses sweetened condensed milk this right here just using this you keep it two or three weeks in the refrigerator, even longer maybe. I've never had any last that long. But. So, I've got a clean bottle. This had uh, some spirits in it. This is a 750 milliliter bottle, just like the Bailey's bottle is. And, <laughs> you know me, I'm doing it cheap. I gotta talk about something made by Harbor Freight. <laughs> so I got their four piece 
funnel set for 99 cents. So I'm using a Harbor Freight funnel to put my stuff in the bottle. Oh, I love this stuff. Now the stuff is thick. So what I do is I get all of it out of can. And the reason I put this in first is because I'm going to use all my other ingredients to help wash this can out and get it all out of there. So I've got about three teaspoons of coffee, instant coffee, in the can. Now I'm going to go get a pot of hot water, bring it out here and pour it in there and mix it up a little bit. I'm going to put it in there and I filled that a little bit, just a little bit over half full. I don't want a bunch of liquid added to my, added to my uh, Irish cream because I like that creaminess. So I don't add a bunch of liquid. And I almost forgot to tell you a minute ago, need a little bit of Hershey's chocolate syrup. Mm. Let's squirt some of that in there. And while I was prowling around waiting on that water to boil, I found that I do have some pure vanilla extract. So I'll use that this time. Get a little shot of that, there we go. Got to measure it real careful. Mm. Yeah, now just stir this up real good. I'm accomplishing two things now. My instant coffee, my instant coffee is now dissolved. I've done this before and put the instant coffee directly into the bottle and it was, you know, it didn't dissolve right. So by using the real hot water, I've not only been able to dissolve my coffee, but I've also been able to wash some of that stuff off the bottom of the can so get almost every bit of it out of there. Now you can see in the bottle, we've got our, we've got our uh, condensed, sweet condensed milk, we've got our instant coffee, our vanilla extract, our chocolate syrup, that's Miss Kitty from the Idaho Hillbilly on the phone. She, uh, I'm trying to get uh, the Tennessee Hillbilly's full name because I'm making something special for him. He don't know what it is though. Matter of fact, he don't know nothing about it unless he watches this video. <laughs> Alright. Now, I don't bother measuring my liquor. I just pour enough liquor in here to fill the bottle up. Now I'm going to stop right there so i got a little bit of head space so I can shake this up real good. Then after I get it all mixed up real good, then I'll top it off with more liquor and then uh, shake it up and we'll be ready to test it. Now if you're trying this in your kitchen at home, you may find it easier to maybe use a whisk and stir it up in a bowl. But I'm doing it, I'm doing it cheap. All I'm doing is... Uh, just showing you how I mix it up right out, right outside here without no problem. Man, look at that color! Don't that look good? Mm, I can already taste it. All right, let me top it off with whiskey and shake it up again, and then we're gonna, then we're gonna get a sample of this. There we go. Chug a look, chug a look. Make you wanna holler hidey ho. Warm your tummy, don't you know? Chug a look, chug a look. Alright. There is my version of Bailey's Irish cream. Let's see how it tastes. It's about the same consistency. Mm. 
<laughs> oh yeah. Woo oh yeah. Folks, this stuff right here is good. It's a little I uh, it's a little bit chocolatey, a little more chocolatey than uh than the original Bailey's. You saw how I measured my chocolate. I, I could have used less, but oh my Oh my goodness, that'd cure what ails you. <laughs> I'm gonna have a wonderful day. <laughs> uh, make sure you watch my next video. It's gonna be my version or the absolute least expensive and easiest way to make delicious homemade wine. That's coming up after this video. Folks, have a wonderful day and a better tomorrow. Thank you. Bye. Chug a look. Mmm.